always we're gonna turn our bike on we sure already know about the dashboard we already went through all of that stuff you know in our last previous videos i'll link them i'll link them up above if you missed it but this is for everyone who's pretty much caught up all right we get ready to start now all right we're gonna make sure our kickstand is up bike is in neutral we want to pull in our clutch everything is ready we're gonna start the bike first let's start the bike all right so we're going to give ourselves a bit of a bit of a warm-up first thing i want you to do before you even put the bike in bike in neutral i want you to get used to putting your foot up on the pegs first things first take your right foot put your toes up on the pegs on the foot peg depends on what type of bike you have if you have a sport bike like i do have the yamaha r3 my toes go a little bit back if you have a naked bike you know your uh pegs literally might be directly right under you at a you know pretty much you know 90 degree angle everything is all the same put your foot on the peg take that foot down take your left foot <clears throat> Put your left put your left foot up on the peg okay all right down right foot up on the peg down left foot up on the peg that's going to start working all these muscles you know on your legs so you get to know what your you know what your muscles feel like when you start you know you know shifting and stuff like that because you're going to be using leg muscles to actually shift believe believe it or not all right let's do that one more time right foot up on the peg right foot down left foot up on the peg all right let's get going remember how we hold the handlebars we don't hold the handlebars like this we kind of keep them under and remember we're not going to add no throttle right now for this particular uh part we're just going to go and let the bike you know do its thing all right so to get going we're going to hold in the clutch i'm not adding no throttle i'm going to click down okay i'm in first gear i'm going to slowly 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 release the clutch you guys see the bike moving right foot is still down I'm duck walking. You can duck walk it if you feel comfortable. You see me duck walking. I'm just duck walking. You see me duck walking with my right, with my right foot. All right. I'm duck walking. I'm not adding no power. I'm duck walking. You see my right foot. Look at my right foot. Kind of hard to do this. Look at my foot and uh, go straight at the same time. But look at my right foot. I'm duck walking. Okay. The bike is still going. All right. I'm duck walking. I'm duck walking. The bike is still going. Look at my foot. I'm duck walking. I'm duck walking. I'm duck walking. I am duck walking. I am duck walking. Still duck walking. My left foot is up. Still duck walking. All right, pull in the clutch. A little bit of front brake. Stop. Now, the reason why I pulled in the front brake instead of the rear brake, because we was duck walking with the uh, with the right foot. So I wanted you to continue duck walking and just slowly pull in that front brake so it can slowly come to, come to a come to a stop. You don't want to pull it real hard. You're going to turn the bike around, do a U-turn. All right. <clears throat> We're going to do that again. The clutch is still in. Okay, remember, you're never supposed to let go of your clutch. Keep that power. All right? No power going to the rear wheel. We're going to start letting that power go to the rear wheel. Now, we're going to duck walk with our left foot. No throttle. Your hands is here. Look at my hands. No throttle. I'm going to slowly release the clutch. Slowly, if you feel like you're going too fast, pull the clutch back in just a tiny bit. I'm releasing the clutch. I'm duck walking. 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 Duck walking. I'm duck walking. I'm duck walking on my left leg. See my left leg? Duck walk. Duck walking. Duck walk. I'm at four miles an hour. I got the clutch clutch pulled in. You see, it's at three. I'm gonna release it. Let it go a little bit faster. So I'm duck walking. Got to duck walk a little bit faster. Right leg is still up. How does that feel? Now, releasing the clutch. I'm not even touching the clutch now. Still duck walking. Look at my legs. You see my feet? Still duck walking. I'm not touching anything. The bike is going on its own. Still duck walking. Still Still duck walking all right let's get this turned around okay good now it's time to get both of our feet up all right still not comfortable i want you to practice doing that duck walking you duck walk with your right foot duck walk with your left foot okay now we're going to actually start getting both of our feet up if you want to know how to get your both feet up that's how you do it you duck walk with one foot duck walk with, with, with the other foot you can also duck walk with both feet at the same time but we already did that now that we're actually going to start riding and we're going to shift into the we're going to shift into the next gear remember hand placement hands here hands here you're not going to be giving throttle with a full with a full fist here's what i want you to do here's a trick here's a real trick that's going to help you with slow speed maneuvers especially when it comes time to slow down i want you to take your finger put your finger like this put your finger put your thumb like this take your palm reverse supination put it in the web of your thumb between your pointer finger right here this web is going to be what controls speed of your throttle 
that's going to control the speed of your throttle that's part one of, of how to control of how to control it and this is going to help you get confidence with helping to pull in the full the the front brake because your fingers are already going to be up here i can teach you with the two fingers thing i'm not going to teach you that i want to teach you with using all fingers your middle finger is going to be the first thing that actually touches touches the front brake close your thumb have your thumb like this the web the web of your hand is what's going to control the control the throttle how are we going to uh, shift into first gear the first thing we want to do in order to shift when you start going at speed you <laughs> give some throttle get up to speed speed that you want to when it's time to shift you pull in the clutch release the throttle so you're going off the throttle you're releasing the throttle you're going off off the throttle and then you're taking your foot on the foot peg and then you're going to click up into the next gear all right so we want to make sure that we shift properly so you want to make sure that you have your feet on the peg. So when it's time for you to shift, you're going to do it correctly. So your feet, your toes should be up here. This is where your toes should be. There's two different ways on how I shift. You can choose whichever way you want to, want to do it, whatever way works out for you. One, normally what I do, once I pull in the clutch, my feet goes down, under, and then I, and then I you know, click up toes up here heel go on goes down toes go under I click up or I click down or I click down so here toes up here if it's time for me to click down put my heel here I click down another way to do it if you're prepping you can put your heel here and some people actually put their foot out to the side and come up under and then they click up so to prep the toes here your heel you rotate your foot outside to get up under the shifter then you can click up or same thing toes up move your heel move your foot to the outside roll over and then come around click up or click down toes Heel, roll over, under, to click up. Okay? So you give the bike throttle when it's time to shift. You pull in the clutch, release the throttle, foot, shift up to, into the next gear. Okay? So we're going to do a little demonstration. We're not going to go too fast. We're just going to go in second gear. And I'm going to do that real, I'm going to do that slow for you so you can actually see because you're going to have to do that a little bit faster when you're actually out on the road. All right, so let's turn the bike on. Here we go. We're in neutral. All right, clutch in. I'm going to start the bike. <clears throat> clutch is in. Clicking down the first. My left foot is up. If you want to start with your, with your right foot, left foot, doesn't matter. Normally, when you come to a stop, you always want to kind of put your left foot down because your right foot is going to be what's actually controlling, you know, the rear brake. And remember what we said about the rear brake. The rear brake is only 30% of power, so it's going to stabilize you as you go slow speed. Okay, so here we go. You see how my hands are positioned on here? So I'm going to let the clutch go. I'm going to let the clutch go. See, I'm giving it throttle. So you want to give it throttle. Start giving it throttle. Look at my RPMs. See, I'm at four. You're not going to be able to look at the dashboard when you do this. You got to listen to your bike. As you give it a little bit of throttle, slowly release the clutch at the same time. There you go, release the clutch. Look at my right hand. You see my right hand? We're going. Now I'm holding it. I'm gonna release the throttle, pulling the clutch. I clicked up. We're going, all right? Let's try that one more time. All right, did you guys get that? All right, so we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna give it throttle. We're gonna give, we're gonna give, we're gonna get a bike throttle. Let it catch up to speed. When we get ready to shift, we're gonna release, we're gonna release the throttle. Okay, we're going to release the throttle, pull the clutch in, kick up. So let's try that one more time. All right, give the bike a little bit of gas. We're going to get going. All right, feet up. Okay, we're releasing the clutch. We're giving just a little bit of throttle. Off the throttle, clutch in, click up. I'm going in third gear, back on the throttle. And now I'm going faster. All right, let's try that again. Let me turn around, actually. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Let me do it one more time. Let me close my visor. One more time, hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, 
So now, <clears throat> once again, we're gonna start adding throttle, and that's we're gonna you know use our shifter to get up into the next gear. So when we're in first gear, remember when you're in the throttle, you rev the throttle, let it go. While you're while you're revving the throttle, you're slowly releasing the clutch at the same time, and then you're gonna get up to speed. So let's go. So as I'm revving the throttle, right? You want your hands here. You can have them like this. Or remember, have them like this. You want to use that web in your hand, okay? All right. Here we go. Get the throttle. You hear it? I'm giving it. I'm going to go. Now I want to go into second gear. What I'm doing, I'm going to release the throttle, pull in the clutch. I clicked up on the shifter. Now we're going to go. All right. Let's try that one more time. So your movement. You're giving the throttle, you're going down to give it power. When it's time to shift, you want to get off the throttle, okay? Pull the clutch, pull, man, all these bugs coming from, Oof. Pull the clutch in and then, and then shift. Try that again, so here we go. Here we go. I'm giving it power. We're going to get the bike going. <clears throat> all right. Using the web of my hand. All right. You see, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to release. Pulling the clutch off the throttle, click up. Back on the throttle. Clutch in. You know what to do. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. All right. We're getting it. We'll break. I'm going to do a U turn. Right, let's go. Going to speed. Clutch in. Click up. On the throttle. Clutch in. Click up on the throttle that's the slow way of doing it but you want to actually do it a lot faster you want to do it all at the same time okay i'm just over exaggerating and i'm just showing you exactly you know how it's done so get that rhythm down clutch in off the throttle you know click you know click up first gear i'm gonna go in second clutch in click up i'm in second back on the throttle clutch in click up back on the throttle you know you want to go you starting those stupid fast and you need to go fast and you can't be slowing down in between you know you're pulling in the clutch releasing the throttle and clicking up you're going to do it all at the same time all right so here we go second gear third gear fourth gear you see how quick i did that and you didn't even see my hands you didn't even see my hands move hardly. Cause that's how quick, that's how quick it is. And that's how quick you need to be when you when you're out on the road. You know, you want to be careful, you know, you don't want to be smashing into a car. You know, if you happen to shift up and there's a car in front of you, you don't want to get back on the throttle, stay off the throttle, you know, click back down, start braking so you can go go slow. So you wanna go. Go. Click up. Click up. Click up. Fourth gear. Use a bulk brake. It's a beautiful thing about the uh, the R3. You can get up to speed. I mean, you won't get up to speed as super fast as the um, R6 or R1, but that's the beauty of it. You get to learn what your controls do. You get to learn what RPMs you need to be at and what speed you need to be at all at the same time. I hope this video helped, you know, helped everyone out. You should be practicing this, you know, on a regular basis. I call this place the junkyard. This is where I like to do my practicing sometimes. You know sometimes other places but you need to go outside you know and practice this look at how i demonstrated you know everything how i use my hands guys riding in the street traffic you need to know what you're doing roll off the throttle click up on the shifter okay we want to do it at the same time so let's start giving it a power as we're giving it power we're slowly releasing you see my bike moving now we're giving it power slowly releasing you don't want to look down look straight ahead okay Listen to your bike. As your bike starts giving, getting, getting power, let's go. Feet up. Get some speed. Boom. Third, second gear. Boom. Third gear. Make sense?